what's going on guys people militia sidetrack sitting here waiting for my breakfast to uh, finish cooking I figured I'd take the time to show everybody a new way to me how to make the fireball correctly. At least I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work for me, well then, you know, we got some damn problems. But yeah, I thought I'd uh, record it and put it on video. Seems pretty cool. So you got your petroleum jelly. got the new knife out to show you I haven't touched the edge yet and I won't see how long it'll last for sick knife I'm gonna have a discussion about a few things still thinking about the video I haven't really figured it out on how I want to go about doing it and what I need to say and whatnot without being judged. So yeah, what you do, or what he did, you put a little bit here, roll it over, put a little bit on that side, roll it over. And you don't need a lot. It's still going to burn slow because of the how thick the jelly is. And you do it again. Fold it over. What I did was unroll the cotton ball because they'll unroll. Some will be a little messed up than others, but so then you put your last dab in there and just roll that over and there's your uh, there's your fireball All right pretty neat it's not too soaked it'll catch a catch a fail rod you know Get the shred the on out, out of the crappy sheath. Put on the fire, fire stage of Reaper Militia, and see where we go. Bam! I had a viewer, you know, he's like, I don't want you to get butt hurt, but. You know, you could do this, that, and the other thing. And, you know, I wanted to, I forgot to say that, you know, we're tough on this show. Uh, ain't no, uh, ain't no wussiness going on around here. But, uh, I loved his advice that, you know, I guess, you know, a lot of people get butt hurt about advice, but. I know I know exactly what he was talking about, but I want to train, you know, with just wood and wet wood and, you know, just part of my training. As you can see that this thing, you know, it's going to go for a while. More than enough time to get your fire going. Kids, do not play with fire in the house. I am an adult and this is controlled. I also have a fire extinguisher under the sink just in case. So please, kids, if you are watching... Do not do this without parental advisory. <clears throat> As you can see, it's going for a while. <laughs> yeah. So, where I seen this on? Uh, this new guy I've been checking out. He's a small channel, but uh, he's from UK, and I like what he's doing. 
Uh, you can check them out. Uh, Mad Dog Survival. And uh, this is where I seen this at. I'm pretty sure other people have done it. I just haven't seen it. Uh, if you guys want to check him out, check him out. I think it's a pretty cool channel. And, you know, he's in the UK, which is cool too. But that's where I got this this idea from and you know it works great oh shit my table's catching on fire I see but yeah I mean this is burning awesome I totally you know I'm making these up and uh I'm gonna make up a bunch of these. Yeah, I'll show you again. You know, you just get a little bit, a little bit on your finger. Got your cotton ball laid out. Put your little dab there. Fold it over. Put your rest of your dab there. Doesn't have to be pretty. Fold it over. Get a little bit more. Put your dab in there. Fold it over. And then your final one. Could probably get another one out of it. Put your little dab in there. And fold that over. Just like that. And what I'm going to do is... <clears throat> and this idea, I was, uh, just for putting it in the uh, little bricks of foil, I got that from... Uh, I seen... Uh, was it? Black Scout Survival or whatever. He makes something. I don't know what's in it. He has a video on it. You can check that out if you want. Although, you know, it's a cool channel, but I don't know. Some guys interact with the viewers, and some don't. Whatever. I mean, I, I, you know, I like the interaction with mine, and people that aren't subscribed, I, you know, I talk to them too. Not a big deal. I think it's fun and awesome. So yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna make a bunch of little packages of these and put them in the fire kits. You know, they're small, easy to fold up, compact. I mean, unless you're a fire god and you don't need these, then you don't need to make these. But uh, you know, I love fire. Um, and I will continue to practice. But as long as I've been going out in the woods and practicing, and, or not practicing, but camping and whatnot, just normally, you know, I uh, just use fuel and a lighter, you know, or a torch. I, I'd always bring it with me. I never tried the, you know, the hard way. But. Um, trying new things and doing new things. Well, if you watch my channel, you see my explanation on why I'm taking this journey and why I'm doing what I'm doing. But yeah, you got these little bricks. I mean, and you can put four or five of them in there with all the rest of your fire stuff because I go fire heavy and tool heavy. Um, and I like tough tools, you know. But I'm going to have a discussion on tools and good tools for, uh, you know, for a common man price. And I want to talk about where they come from and where they don't come from and where they should come from and still be high quality, good priced for America made here but anyway, that's a different discussion I'm gonna make that for another video 
I'm going to bust out my knives and we're going to uh, talk about it. I'm not a knife knifeologist, you know. I don't know at all about knives. I just know that I love knives. And they're fun. And they're beautiful and the artistic. You know, you got your artistic collector side and then you got your artistic user side. You know. So this is a real cool thing. Easy way. Catches sparks. Took me a while. I'm sure everybody knows how to do this, but if you don't and you watch my channel, there it is. And I got this from the dollar store. That cost nothing. Cotton balls cost nothing at the dollar store. Thanks for watching, everybody. Reaper Melissa Sidetrack. Thanks for the views. If you like hanging out with me and you like my videos and you want to go on the journey with me, whether you're experienced or not experienced, come along with me. Let's do this. Hang out together. Thanks for checking me out. Hopefully you stay. Please subscribe. If you do like my channel, like. That'd be cool. Show brother some love. I hope everybody has a great Sunday. Because today's Sunday. About 9.34 in the morning. I don't know when this will post or what time it is in other countries. Or other states. But uh, thanks for all the viewers. Thanks for the support, guys. That's awesome.